my crucible. Let's turn it on. There we go. On all, both elements. Will there be enough heat to really turn that crucible red? So let's put the top on and let's find out. So I'm running the tin can furnace off those two deep cycle batteries. It's getting pretty hot. Put some aluminum in there, see if we can melt it. Other than dropping a little piece of aluminum. So clearly it will melt aluminum no problem. So I ordered these coils online of course and these are kiln coils. 220 volts, 800 watts. Now of course they're not stretched out, they come like this. First thing we need to do is determine the length of our coil that we're going to need. So that's determined by the voltage we're going to use. The coils need to get hot enough, but they can't get too hot. So we need to know how long we can actually make our coils. What we're gonna do is we're going to experiment with this. I'm thinking 24 volts would be good. So let's try and see if we can power up these coils on 24 volts. Two lead acid batteries here, they're in series. So we'll have 24 volts. So we want the coils to turn red, but we don't want them to be too hot. Okay, so that looks, so I think I can go a little longer. So this length is probably good right here. That looks like a good length. A four inch coil would be fine. So we'll separate each coil at about four inches. So when I stretched out the coil, it's pretty big, so we only need one to build our little furnace. So the elements are niachrome. I ordered a little roll of this niachrome wire, so I can use this for foam cutting or whatever. What I've thought is I could use it also to join up my coils. And I'm hoping that this will work. So the insulation I'm using is ceramic insulation and I ordered a bunch off of, actually it was off of eBay and it just comes like this. Let's hook up the waters. for this. That's perfect. And we'll just pack the insulation in there. And just put the lid on top like that. Seems to fit pretty good. Hook up the battery. Let's see what's going on in here. Whew, it's getting hot.
So the tin can furnace worked perfectly. I was really surprised it turned that crucible red in like 10 minutes. Uh, pretty cool. Melted some aluminum, and the cost was only a couple dollars. I know aluminum is pretty easy to melt, but it's still pretty impressive for 24 volts, and it only draws maybe under 20 amps. So it'd be cool to see if you could melt some copper or gold or something else in here, but that'll have to be a later video. Even though the voltage is low, I don't recommend building any of these things, because obviously you can see it gets pretty hot. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace out. Let's build a solar panel. Tab these cells. Bot welder. Garage in a ball. New batteries on.